Hello everybody, in this series we're going to talk about HTML5 and CSS3. And often I name my courses something something start to finish uh, with a broad topic of just HTML and CSS. Uh, there really is no finish. Um, CSS is still being, you know, evolving and, and uh, you know, there's always something new to learn. But uh, I'm going to try and get as deep in as I can and explain everything as well as possible as we go. Uh, what we want to talk about first is what you'll need for this series. At the very least, you need some sort of text editor, uh, like Notepad. Um, we're going to be using Adobe's Dreamweaver in this course because I pay for it, I might as well. Um, there are other options that are free, such as Notepad++, which is a great text editor that has uh, code formatting and, and things like that built in. Well, way, way better than using just regular old Notepad. Uh, like I said, this is free. If you want something a little more robust, similar to Dreamweaver, you can look at something like Aptana which is built off the Eclipse IDE. Uh, it's a pretty cool product and again this is free too. Or if you are a member of the Adobe Creative Cloud uh, you already have Dreamweaver or you have access to Dreamweaver and you can simply download it. Like I said we're gonna be using Dreamweaver here. You can use an application like Notepad++ which I'm showing you right here. Um, there are plugins to make this a little more similar to Dreamweaver. The main thing you're missing out of the box is uh, an FTP option and uh, you can download that plugin uh, online. But since we're merely working with HTML and CSS, having FTP access isn't necessarily important. We don't need hosting or anything like that. You don't need to have a server installed on your on your computer. Just need to have a web browser. And we're going to use Google Chrome in these videos. Feel free to use Firefox um, Safari, if you want to be dangerous, use Internet Explorer. Um, but yeah, so a browser, text editor of some sort, and we're good to go.